Okay, so the rules for chapter 167 just dropped and this is not like the translations. These are just the rules for chapter 167. I'll be making a separate video for the actual translations for chapter 167, but I just couldn't wait for the chapter to come out. I just had to make a video on it. But anyway, let's just get into it. And of course, of course, if you do want to, you can subscribe and all that good stuff. But let, let's just get into it because a lot of crazy stuff happens in this chapter. Now, this chapter starts off with basically blast transporting Garu and Saitama away from Earth and he basically transports them to kind of like just outside of the Earth basically like he transports them into like a space outside of the Earth so that the Earth doesn't you know receive the full brunt of these two serious punches but we see that you know Boros the lion guy and the um, mage girl you know the ones that were reckoned out of chapter 165 I believe or chapter 166 and we see that they basically help Blast in transporting Garo and Saitama away from the Earth so it doesn't get destroyed. And we see that once these two you know, punches collide, it creates like this huge explosion outside of Earth. And we see that just opposite it is like the moon. And we see that inside of the moon, there's actually like some sort of structure. I'm not too sure what this is, but... I guess there's something living inside of the moon and the obvious guess is God but you know I don't want to make any speculations because you know we don't exactly know 100% what it is and it's not really elaborated on in this chapter so I don't really think we should be too worried about it for now anyway this is just some kind of foreshadowing by one or something like that but we then see that Garu then lands on like a moon or something or it looks like some sort of planet and we see that as he gets sent down we see Saitama then gets onto the same planet as Garo and we see this amazing colored panel of Garo looking up at Saitama and it's revealed that this is like a moon or something but it looks like it's next to a bigger planet that looks I'm not too sure where this is but this is definitely some sort of moon that they're on I'm not too sure what planet it's on but you know I'm sure it will all be revealed later on because you know these translations are just the rules but moving on we see that Saitama then looks down at Garo with a pretty serious expression while Saitama does look like he means business when he punches Garo and he sends Garo flying off of this planet but then Garo creates like a blast teleport thing you know he basically still blasts ability and he opens a portal where he's about to land and then he opens the portal next to Saitama and tries to punch him but Saitama easily just deflects this away and punches Garo which sends him flying to the ground but Garo then recovers pretty easily and gets ready to use another attack and opens up multiple portals and bounces around way better than Blast did and tries to overwhelm Saitama but Saitama tries to go in for a punch but Garo just completely redirects it with his redirection ability and then he just straight up slams Saitama backwards. Garu then tries to follow up with another punch to Saitama's face which creates like a huge explosion on this like moon and we see that this explosion then creates like a portal I think that sucks up all of the attacks maybe and then we see that Saitama just straight up goes in and digs his hand under into the ground of this, this you know mysterious planet and lifts it up and performs the serious table flip I'm pretty sure this is the serious table flip because if this isn't then I honestly don't know what is it looks exactly like the serious table flip and we see that this move is so devastating that it pretty much just destroys the entire planet like it doesn't leave a speck of it left like there's only just the rubble flying around in space. This is the power of Saitama. Saitama can just delete a moon, like pretty much like a small planet. We then see Saitama bounce around and overwhelm Garo and go into like punch him multiple times. And it looks like there's multiple Saitamas just going in to punch Garo. And of course, this is just like speed illusions because Saitama is just way too fast at this point. But then Garo then tries to go down and go into a portal, and Sa but Saitama just straight up follows him and just sends him flying with another punch that sends him, you know, bouncing into all these rocks and ricocheting around. And then we see that Saitama just follows this up by punching Garo again and again and we see this amazing color panel of like the illustration of Saitama and Garu just bouncing around on this rubble you know of the destroyed moon that Saitama just decided to do after his serious table flip. 
We then see Garo then try, try to kind of recover from this and go into another portal. But then he's kind of like stuck, I think. And we then see Saitama just follow up and just smash him in the face again. And we then see Karo try to go into Saitama mode. And in the last panel of the chapter, we see that they both exchange blows. And, you know, that's pretty much it. And it looks like they they are both taking some sort of damage. I'm assuming maybe Garo took more damage. But from the way this panel looks, I'm guessing it's like implying that they're taking like a similar amount of damage here. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the chapter here. And to be honest, I would personally say that this is another like 10 out of 10 chapter. Or at least very close to a 10 out of 10 chapter. Maybe like a, a 9.8 or something. Because I feel like if they maybe elaborated on like the moon thing with like, you know, the structure inside of the moon. I feel like I would definitely appreciate that. But I understand that it's like a, a kind of foreshadowing, etc, etc. And of course we finally got the serious table flip so i know a lot of people are gonna be really happy about that i mean i've seen so many people asking my comments like when do you think the serious table flip is gonna come to one punch man when do you think it's gonna be drawn in the manga etc etc and you know, i mean here we go and i'm pretty sure we're gonna get the serious headbutt next so i'm not too sure if this is in chronological order i'm not too sure if like you know saitama did the headbutt first or if he did the serious table flip first but i mean <laughs> regardless whatever comes first they're both gonna be insane because we know that in the manga they're deliberately trying to like raise the power ceiling if that makes any sense like saitama doing the serious table flip in the manga was a lot more devastating than how we did in the web comic i mean the web comic he just kind of just sent garo really high into the air but in the manga he just straight up destroyed like a moon kind of planet i'm not too sure what this planet is i hope it's elaborated on but maybe i'm just stupid but this just kind of looks like a moon next to like a really huge planet i'm, I'm not too sure but apart from that that's pretty much all i have to say for this video to be honest i mean this chapter was really good I really want to know what you guys think about this chapter because I'm not too sure. I know a lot of people wanted to, you know, say, you know, they, they want more action or whatever. And I'm not too sure what people want at this point. Like, this is the, this is like peak One Punch Man. Like, this is the most action you're going to get for a while after this, to be honest. Because I've read the webcomic and after this, it's more like a, it's more plot based, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, enjoy this while you can because, I mean, there's still going to be fights, don't get me wrong. But, you know, this is a lot of action. Action. probably the most action we've seen in one punch man for for a while i would say but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say if you like the video make sure you leave a like if you didn't don't but apart from that i'll see you in my next video